Dang it, they're not restarting yet. There's still debris on the track. Clean up the track, maybe. NASCAR. Um, I wanted to start this video the right way by having a restart, but instead I have to complain. I guess it's better to clean up the track than to have somebody blow a tire mid-corner and, you know, start bad. Well, this is, this is, there's Coda next week. And then a bunch of short tracks followed up by Talladega, and that's every race through April. I don't know, but I like this upcoming schedule a lot. Not necessarily for trucks, just for Cub. I don't know what the trucks are racing, but they don't do Talladega in the spring. They don't do Richmond. Oh, wait, they do. No. Yeah, they do. I think they do Coda. They do Bristol Dirt. They do Mart. No, wait, they don't. They don't do Martinsville in the spring. Or do they? No, wait. They do. They don't. I don't know. Anyways, restart. Yay. Five to go on the stage. I haven't seen any of this race, but I don't. Well, I've seen some of this race, but I don't know how this is going to end. This could be a disaster. I don't know. Wow, that outside line just stormed ahead. It's Majeski. Oh boy. Uh, don't spin. Keep it green. Don't blow that tire, Ross. I want to see this end under green. It won't happen, but I want to see it. Oh, 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 oh. don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. You hooked Nemechek there, and that is a fatal crash. I am not joking about that. That is a bad angle. Oh, there it is. Oh. Caution. Dang it, Chastain. Yep, there was the tire. Someone hit it. Well, the caution was going to come out in three and four if it if it didn't come out there. So I mean, yeah. Up oh, there, spinning. Rip. Yikes! That kind of scared me. I was like falling asleep. I'm tired, and then all of a sudden, someone spun. Oh well, Christian Eckes. Oh well, not the end of the world. I like that truck. I like that scheme. That, that, that's nice. So what happened? I saw someone like doing the big slide. <sighs> Can we like wait to do this? We're like halfway. So this isn't super speedway racing. I've come to that conclusion. But it's not normal racing. And it's not my prediction of IndyCar Super Speedway racing. Where, you know, they're like single file with massive runs and that's how they pass people before the corners and it's super risky to pass in the corners. I kind of, now that I think of that, I realize why that wasn't right. But um, this isn't normal Super Speedway racing. It's different. We need to come up with a name for this. We need to replace Super with something. I guess, like, sort of super speedway. I don't know. I'm not good at naming things. Oh, boy, the big one is closing in. And it's in the form of the left rear tire on the 42. Wait, Jordan Anderson? Oh, ooh, ooh. Um, don't blow that tire, please, Carson. Please. No tire. No tire. No tire. Please. Oh, boy. Oh, Anderson slid up. I think that is someone did. Wrong tire issue, I guess. Was that a tire? I don't know. 
God, this is so weird. I have not made up my mind on whether or not I like this or not. It's not full on super speedway racing. Like I feel the outside is way too powerful. That's my issue. But that's something you can't fix. That's just because it's such a tight corner radius compared to Daytona and Talladega. I don't know. I hate it when they do this. Like, I get that occasionally they talk, but I hate it. NBC did it a couple of years ago at Talladega. They decided to play the spotter's audio from the leader in live time. Oftentimes when the pack is calmed down at the front, they don't speak too much, you know? They're not constantly talking like they always are mid-pack. Like, they did it for Chase Elliott a while ago at Talladega, and I think it was 2020. Yeah, it was 2020. They did that with Chase Elliott. The only reason I remember that exact moment was, one, because they went half a lap with pretty much no audio whatsoever, and two, um, Kurt Busch took flight literally right after that. So, yeah, just thought I'd say that. Oh, Jordan Anderson, no, he's good, he's fine, he's good, there's no damage, keep him in the race. He could still race. Tate, maybe not. Oh my god, this is never gonna end. Wasn't the first two stages, like, calm or something like that? Can we get that again for 30 laps? through the grass but didn't see any significant left side damage because i feel now that they're racing hard they can't survive they can't drive exactly what i expect out of the truck series but still whoa there's smoke oh nemechek got a tire down oh no I saw crafton smoking too i could tell because He's like the only person in the world outside of Cup who drives a completely neon vehicle. Yep. I need to just say this. If you take a goldfish, if you stand it up on your teeth and then you just crush down or you like break off the tail and let it crush in your mouth. It's the most satisfying thing of all time. I'm waiting for the classic up caution with 10 to go sort of thing that pretty much confirms that we won't be done for at least the next two hours. If Atlanta's truly a super speedway, that's a test it has to pass. All right, we got three to go. Let's take this thing to the finish here. So, Zane is in a tough spot, because I don't think there was really that much of a, like, pull-up in the draft, I feel, because there was so many cars breaking, or trucks breaking away at the back, or falling off at the back. I don't think it's going to happen. So, we'll see. They're getting racy in the back. They're going to make it to the white flag, I bet and nothing's going to happen, and it's going to be Nemechek who ruins this thing. <sighs> oh boy. Come on, Zane, you have to jump out about now. Zane has to make this happen. Oh, Corey Heim's going to make it happen. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pass for the lead, that's probably the race because Nemechek is there. Yeah, Corey Heim's going to win this thing. Rhodes ain't going to get there, no chance. He slid up. He slid up out of four. Oh boy. Look out. And they survive. Yeah, I mean, at least we got a last lap pass, but I don't know about that. 
Once Heim got by and he had Nima check behind him, I knew that thing was over. All right, I'll give it a six out of 10. I enjoyed it, but not much at times. But other times it was really good. And apparently the Xfinity race is supposed to start in 15 minutes, but I don't think that'll be happening. All right. I have 15 minutes to upload this, I guess, after editing.